I gotta show you guys something. This is the Deliverance Center that I love and was delivered by God, but the demons come back and mess with me. Well, there's like a live uh, thing right now, and I'm watching it. And I don't know how I'm able to rewind if it's live, but I am, and I'm grateful. <laughs> but um, there's this old lady, and I'm going to show it to you guys right now. He is praying for her, and like she's, you're going to hear her talking about a demon that's coming through her wall, and like, he's like, you can't, they will they only come in your house when you allow them to come in your house. Like, basically, it's your fault. But, um, he's, like, totally not really listening to what she's saying. And I have had this happen to me. And, um, and deliverance. And it's horrible. But, like, if you really listen to her... She continues to say, like, well, I know about the anointing in my, of my house. I know about the praying. I am praying. I am doing this. I know that. And, of course, like, okay, you know. Okay, I'm just going to play the video for you guys to see. Empowered by the Holy Ghost. Be empowered by the fire of God. Be empowered by the fire of God. In Jesus' mighty name. This lady. I want you to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Okay? Now that's going to be praying in tongues every day so those, so those devils can't harm you, okay? Say in Jesus' name. Say in Jesus' name. Pray every day so those devils can't harm you. Okay, I pray every day and the devils are harming me. Father, I need the fire in my life. You said if I asked, I would receive it. I believe it. And I put my faith into action now. I thank you, Lord, that you're doing it right now. I receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now. Now. In Jesus' name. Drobo. Laba. Shiko. Laba. Lakosto. Drobo. Badro. Kalabasha. Kalabasha. Ya, 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 ya. Robo, you already do. Okay, keep going. Robo, bo, 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 bo. I know you guys probably want to click away. Just watch though, because there's gonna be a part where he uh the conversation starts and it's totally what happens with me. Shaya, 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 fire, 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 fire in Jesus' name, you devil. Take your filthy hands off her life right now. Let me just say, what he's doing is good, you guys. This is good. This is normal. This needs to be done. And I went to this exact deliverance place, drove all the way to Arizona to get the deliverance. And, and I praise God for it. And I was delivered. But they keep coming back. In Jesus' name, I want you to pray in tongues all day. Don't let him in your house. Um, she's talking about the demon coming in her house. No, I don't let him in. She said he comes through the walls. He's not gonna do that anymore. You're protected now, okay? Listen, you're protected now. I want you to believe Jesus. You hear her? her she says, "I, I told." the demon that you know but it still comes like i tell the demons that attack me to leave and i'm grateful god i'm grateful though because it's not as bad as it used to be thank you jesus but like still like they mess with me and it's not as severe as it used to be but they mess with me and i tell them to leave in the blood in the name of jesus I take my authority over the day. I anoint my, I have a, I have, don't anymore. I mean, I, I have done the anointing, all of that stuff. It doesn't stop it. Not the devil. Okay. Okay, look. You close the door on that devil. Okay. She said the demon tells her it's going to miss her. Uh, when she's gone, it's it's a demon. It's trying to form a 
a relationship with her, an emotional attachment with her, and that's not good. Like, like, she sh is there something going on with her being able to hear? I don't know. Like to, to talk with the demon like that. Like I don't talk to the demons. <laughs> I command them to go. I don't. I don't listen to their crappy lies. Okay, sometimes I do, but that's why I need to be in the word so I know the difference. But um, I have no idea where I was gonna going. I'm going with this. I'm just gonna continue. Don't worry about him anymore. I want you to fall so in love with Jesus that that devil is going to vanish, okay? In Jesus' name, you're going to focus on the king. And I want you, you're going to have, you're going to be anointed in tongues of fire. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, and now he's like, okay, amen. Yep, we're done now. Yeah, you're good. Yeah? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Like he what basically he's like I'm done I'm done ministering to you I gotta move on now come on I know you probably like this these are my thoughts okay these are just my thoughts and like I yeah I've been through it with ministry so um yeah I'm grateful for the deliverance I got but not every every um deliverance ministry is really uh always operating under the Holy Spirit. Sometimes they're just kind of operating under the flesh. And you can get swept up into the idea that it's man that delivers you when it's not. It's by the Holy Spirit and not by man. I have no idea where I was going with this either. But I'm going to push by. God bless you. Don't find You can't live in fear. You can't live in fear, okay? I'm not scared. I live alone and I... She says she lives alone. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to push play. But who's with you? See, oh, no, see, there's your wrong confession. Jesus is with you. He's going to protect you, okay? He's going to protect you. You hear that? She gets up four, but four in the morning, she reads her Bible and everything. I'm like, this is me. Like, I freaking read my Bible. Okay, no, I haven't been. That's not true. But I do listen to sermons, and I know that's not good enough because I need to go to, Mo to the Lord myself, like Moses did. Not listen to the Lord from her Moses or from sermons, you know. But to, God, to go to God directly and talk to him. And, and I know Moses isn't alive for those of you who think I lost my head. I'm, I'm saying, like, it's just a way of, like, saying instead of listening to sermons, I need to go to the Lord and, and listen to, read his word, listen to his word, and um, let him speak to my spirit through his word. Um, I don't know where I was going with this either, but I'm going to push by. I'm not afraid, but I can't get rid of get rid of him. I know, I know the feeling, girl. I know it. He can't come into your house unless you allow him to. You go into your home and you cover in the blood. Okay, not girl. She's like a woman. He should be respected. You know, he's an elder. He should be more respectful. <laughs> Girl. And the presence of the Holy Ghost, okay? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you see that? It's like, oh my gosh, that's what I'm talking about. That is not love right there. She's like, help me, like, please. Like, I need help. Like, I don't get it. They're attacking me. This is me, you guys. And this this is and this is what happens. They just push you off. And instead of really taking the time to minister or care about one person individually, like, oh, let me just go on to the next one. Nothing's happening here. No, no. Sometimes it's just about listening to the people, really listening, just sitting down and taking the time and listening to them and talking to them and hearing what they're saying, really hearing what they're saying and not you know, going off of these ideas in your own head about what's happening with them or why they're not get del getting delivered into why they are getting delivered. Just freaking be human. Okay, we need love, man. We don't, like, I don't get why the demons are attacking me, but, you know, um, through it, I can still, like, you know, try to, you know, fight the warfare and, and you know, and, and, 
you know, read the scriptures about the liver and sin. Read my Bible and pray to the Lord and worship and stuff and listen to sermons, but in fellowship and all these things. But, um, like, what about just... If a person's not getting deliverance, instead of tossing them aside, like, you're, you're just stopped up next. <laughs> what about literally just taking a few minutes with them and loving them and really hearing what they're going through and comforting them and ministering to them? I know it's a deliverance place, but, or people, you know. Or people.